This video is for special educators and maybe an EL teacher uh, that would like to be able to access scores for their students that maybe are in their caseload but not necessarily in their class. So you may need to create a group. You've not done this before. Um, so you're going to click on students, the word students, and then over here along the left hand side, this is where you'll see your courses and your um, courses are considered groups, but we're going to create a group for your caseload. So we're going to go ahead and click on create new and then um, caseload Petersheim or I would put your name in there so then that way we can tell because a lot of them are named caseload. Uh, you can enter any of that stuff. Now we want to go ahead and select our students and to do that, we're just going to go to students, just type in the last name. And I have one example student, so I'm going to hit add. And notice it puts it in the select, selected students column. I'm going to use this purple. Hit use selected students. Now, I haven't crea actually created my group yet. I'm still in that process. So you can add other. Um, users to it, but we're just going to hit review details. Notice we still have not created the group. Uh, we've just added students to the group and then we're going to go ahead and hit create group. So now I've created my group. Um, I would like to go and maybe that student has moved out and another student has moved in. To edit your group, you're still going to go to students, uh, the word students. This time we're going to go to view all. And then we're going to type in the group. Now you may not have very many in there. Uh, I have a whole bunch, so I need to type in what it's called. There's my caseload. Enter. There we go. And now this is how you're going to modify who's in the group. So I'm going to hit modify students. And this is where I can type somebody else's name. I can type somebody else's name here. I can remove the students or add new. Regardless, so let's go ahead and hit remove. Let's go ahead and re-add that student. And uh, then we're going to come down here once you have made all of the adjustments that you need, we haven't saved them. So we need to tell the system to use selected students. You're still not done. You have two purples that you need to hit, and then you're going to hit update group. And when you do that, um, you're able to, um, that will update your group. Now, we need to be able to look at that student's um, scores. We need to be able to pull that maybe for a, a IEP, an ARC meeting or um, writing their IEP or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and to view the students data, we're going to go ahead and hit students. And it's going to bring up all of the students, but we just want to search. Now you have the ability to search that student's name. So we're going to go ahead and search that student. Here is my student. And right here, um, affiliations you can this is where you can add them to different groups we have grade 9 scores grade 10 scores grade 11 scores so we want to go ahead it's they're currently in grade 11 we want their fall scores you have two reports that are possible you have the course report which will give you a score along with uh, ACT um, projection you could also, it'll also tell you which questions they got right and wrong. Um, it'll give you breakdowns in uh, the different uh, sections. You could also go back if you want the readiness standards. Then this will take you to uh, the college readiness standards and um, how they did there and how many they got correct and incorrect. So these two reports might be helpful to you.